Folks, this is huge. Tom Lee, one of the best analysts in the business, just released a list of six stocks to buy in 2024 and never work again. Because I remembered when I started in this business, someone says you don't get fired for recommending Coke. Yeah. Coca-Cola, not- Yeah, yeah. Um, well, either way. Yeah. <laughs> so. And yeah. so most people always play in the middle of the fairway. According to Tom Lee, who's one of the more successful analysts in the business and the head of Fundstrat, these six stocks will make millionaires in 2024. Now, in my videos, the bottom line always comes first. So before I say a single word about anything, here is the list of the six stocks. So I don't hold you hostage. Don't click nothing. Don't smash nothing. Don't buy nothing. Just listen. The six stocks are NVIDIA, Meta, Uber, Tesla, Eli Lilly, Palantir. And if all you needed is the bottom line, if all you needed is that six stock list, here you go. You're free to leave. I'm not angry. In fact, I don't care since this isn't the way I make my living. But I suggest you give me about 30 seconds of your time to convince you to stay because I'm about to blow your mind and make you a lot of money. Because I'll do in this video what most mainstream media, most creators out there, they're not going to show you. I'll tell you which ones of the six stocks are the pretenders and which ones are the real ones. Which one is legit and which one is total shit. And trust me, there's two stocks on this list which have fallen miserably on their face despite the hype. And it's not the stocks you think, trust me. Now look, the cost of doing business is making mistakes. Tom Lee is not immune to that. Myself, I'm not immune to that. I don't think you should follow anybody blindly, not Tom Lee and not Tom Nash. What I'm doing in this community is teaching people how to think for themselves, how to create a process which they trust and make their own decisions. I'm not about to feed you fish. So what I'll do in this video is I'm gonna show you how I analyze these six stocks. And I'll tell you which one of them are real and which one are completely fake. And that system, which you learn in today's video, you can apply to any stock out there within minutes. The test basically includes 10 items. Each item has a perfect score of 10, a fail of zero, and a medium score of five, okay? Very, very simple. Number one, did the company grow its revenue over the past three years? A perfect score gives you a 10 here. Does the net margin goes above or below 10%? As you understand, above 10% is a perfect score, 5% is a medium, and below 5% is a zero. Cash increase. Did the company increase its cash over the past three years? Does the company have more assets than liabilities? Does the company have more cash than debt? Does the company have a short interest of below 5%, below 10%, or above 10%? Does the company have 50% or more of institutional shareholding? Does the company grow its revenues faster than it's growing its expenses? Scalability. And how much did the company do for its investors since IPO? And the last one is PE, price to earnings. Is it above or below 30? Any stock that is above 30 does not deserve a full score of 10. Any stock that is between 10 and 30 deserves a five and anything below 10 PE deserves a perfect score. Now, as you will see in this test, we have two companies that absolutely have fallen flat on their face, not the ones you think. We have four companies that have done really well and we have one company that pretty much gotten a perfect score. Now let's play a little game here. You guess which company has come very, very close to a perfect score, which is pretty much as close as you can get under the system. Comment below before I reveal this, and let's see how many of you got it right, because most of you will not. I promise you, it's gonna be surprising. Now, very, very quickly, put it down in the comments and let's get to it. I'm not about to waste people's time here in this video. Number one, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA scored 90 on this test, which is one of the highest scores we have ever seen. The only reason NVIDIA did not get a perfect score is because it has a PE of above 30. Now, its PE currently is 60. It's not horrible, but it is above 30. That is why it's a 90 stock. Still very high. Tesla scored an 85, which is really a 90. And I'll tell you why. Tesla's institutional shareholding is 47%, which is just shy by 3% of a perfect score on that 50% threshold, which means Tesla just barely, barely got 85 instead of 90, but it also lost 10 points the same way Nvidia did with 67p, which is above 30. Palantir with 85 for the same reason, 42% institutional shareholding, very close to that 50%, but not quite there yet. 
just about two years ago, it was at 30%, so it's moving along nicely, but not there yet. So 85 for Palantir, 85 for Tesla, 90 for NVIDIA, and the perfect score of 95, that's as close as you can get to a perfect score in this test, goes to Meta. Now, Meta actually scored a 95 because it has a PE of 28. Now, 28 is below 30, but above 10, which means it only got 5 out of 10 on the test, 95. But it completely aced every single test. Revenue growth, net margin, cash increase, more assets than liabilities, more cash than debt, short interest below 5%, above 50% institutional shareholding, scalability, since IPO it went ballistic, and the PE is actually below 30. That is the highest score we have ever seen on this test so meta actually blew everybody out of the water nvidia tesla and palantir had great scores but these two companies actually fell flat on their face and the hype around them seems more air than anything else number one uber a company that scored 65 now high pe with 80 more debt than cash only five percent net margin and reducing cash so this company basically does not have the fundamentals to justify the hype. Maybe they will get better. Maybe they will blow up. I don't know. Right now, they're not good enough. Eli Lilly, you guys have brought it to 108 PE of all this hype. I get it. I understand the hype, but 108 PE with more debt than cash, with more liabilities than assets, with reducing cash, it doesn't make sense. Eli Lilly scored the lowest on our test with the highest PE, except Palantir, which is a whole different story. Palantir has a crazy PE, I get it, but give it a year, it's gonna get better. Now look, it doesn't mean that Eli Lilly or Uber and or both cannot go through the stratosphere for the next year. It doesn't mean that. Stocks in the short term can do crazy things. It's not about fundamentals. It's about psychology, trends, media, all the stuff that have nothing to do with fundamentals. So don't come at me in about a year saying, oh my God, Eli Lilly has doubled itself. It may happen, I don't know. But my system works 80% of the time. I know I'm gonna miss a few because I'm being a tight ass. That's fine. But right now, based on my system, I would exclude Uber and Eli Lilly. And I would absolutely love the other four stocks. But the next question you should ask yourself is, well, Tom, you just said that Meta scored the highest, Nvidia scored the second highest, and then Tesla and Palantir were tied for three, and your portfolio only has Tesla and Palantir. In fact, Palantir had 40% and Tesla had 20%. How come, Tom, well, what about Meta and Nvidia? Such great companies, great scores. Well, I'll explain. Look, I have no doubt that these four companies, Nvidia, Palantir, Tesla, and Meta, are some of the best companies in the land. They're some of the best. They'll be dominant for the next five to 10 years. They're incredible, amazing companies with all the right things, all the right ingredients. I'm not saying that, but look at the valuation. The market cap of Nvidia is currently $3 trillion. How much more can you get out of this lemon? If it doubles and goes to $6 trillion, which would be insane, but it might happen. You make 100% of your money, and that's great. If NVIDIA goes from $3 trillion to $6 trillion, you have doubled your money, and that may happen. If Meta goes from $1.4 trillion to $3 trillion, you've doubled your money. Again, incredible, right? But I'm looking at Palantir, and I'm saying, well, Palantir is basically the next Microsoft in the making, and they're currently trading at $80 billion. The chances of Palantir going from $80 to $800 billion are a lot higher than NVIDIA going from three to $30 trillion, at least the way I see it. So the upside in Palantir is a lot bigger for me as an investor than it is in NVIDIA. And that is why Tesla at 800 billion is only 20% of my portfolio and Palantir is that 40% position. Well, Tom, what about the other 40%? Well, that is in the S&P 500. That is because I'm not an idiot and I'm not about to bet against the US economy, which is undefeated. S&P 500 is my security blanket and it's always gonna be there. Now the challenge for you as a long-term investor is the fact that great companies are trading at a premium. And these companies mostly are very, very close right now in their pricing to their 52 week high price. So what do you do with it? Do you wait? Do you get a better price? Do you wait until the collapse, the fall, the drop back, the pullback, whatever you call it? No, because you never know what the stock market is going to do in the short term. The stock market might fly up in the next year and these stocks might double in price before they pull back again. We simply don't know. What we do is we allocate a certain fixed amount every month and we buy that like clockwork. Now, the minute the stock drops below a certain price point, which I'll talk to you about in a second, we actually go and double down. So essentially, we're riding the average of the stock, but every time the stock dips, we actually double down, creating a weighted average that gets very close to the bottom of the price without timing the market even once. 
This system is pretty much guaranteed. The only thing you need is time. This thing takes three to five years to materialize. And that is the problem. Warren Buffett said it, I think, the best. People would love to get rich. They all want to get rich. Nobody's willing to get rich slow. This system takes years, but it is proven. How many of you have the balls, the cajones, and the patience to do it? Well, let's find out. Now, I also told you something that I haven't explained. I told you that we double down on a stock once it hits a certain threshold price. But what is it? Well, for each stock, we calculate it quite simply. It is 20% below the 52-week high. For Tesla, the 52-week high is 271, which means that any price below 216 is our trigger amount. For Palantir, it is 38. So anything below $30 is our trigger amount. For NVIDIA, it's 140, which means 112 is our trigger amount. For Meta, it's 577, which means $460 is our trigger amount. Anything below these amounts triggers the double down process for us. It's very, very simple. Now, Tesla, Palantir, and Meta are basically almost touching their 52-week highs, so they're nowhere near that threshold amount. But surprisingly, NVIDIA, which is one of the best companies in the land, is currently trading at $121, which is very, very close to that 112 which means it's almost there. If NVIDIA drops just another 10%, it's gonna get into that region where we wanna double down, which means instead of $100 every month, 200 every single month until the stock climbs up above 112 again. Very, very simple. Ignoring the news, ignoring the hype, ignoring all the FOMO, all the panic. The only thing we care is that the company fundamentally does not deteriorate. We still wanna be a shareholder and we look at the price and we buy more on weakness, we buy a little bit less on strength and we keep doing it for three to five years, eventually getting to a very comfortable position. Now look, this system basically teaches you discipline. It teaches you conviction, and it allows you to become an absolutely carefree person, not giving a frick about what's going on in your portfolio in the short term, which I think is a huge reward for anybody who wants to enjoy life. We have limited amounts of fricks to give in life. Let's use them for smart things, not for this. This system only requires you to research good companies and then the automatic system takes over and just keep buying and selling. All you have to do is monitor the companies you invested in and make sure they're still as attractive as they were a year, two years, three years ago. Now, here's the thing. The DCA thing works. It is proven. The only thing you need is conviction, patience, and a support group. We have that. We have a 20,000 member Discord, which will prevent you from doing emotional bullshit and will keep you in line doing exactly the smart, logical decisions you need to make. I invite you to join our academy. And a few days ago, I dropped the price to $35 for 24 hours. Since then, the amount of people who signed up was incredible. We're almost at 6,000 members right now. Now, a lot of you have asked me, to continue this and I will allow it, which means that as of October 1st, the price goes back from 35 back to $99 and will never ever drop again to 35, no matter what, it's gone forever. The reason is, and that's the reason I'm not BSing you on this, is because we are already oversubscribed in the Academy. We need to slow down a little bit. We need to slow down the pace at 99. We're about to have a slower sign up, and that's okay. I don't need more people right now. I have enough, but I don't want to close the door too quickly. So you have until the end of the month. Don't tell me I didn't give you the chances to join at 35. That's the end of it. Now, before you go, one important thing. I get this question from almost any new member here. Before I learned the system, I've bought a bunch of garbage and now my portfolio is filled with bad companies, loser companies. What do I do with this? I've made a video exactly for that purpose. How to identify which stocks in your portfolio are garbage that needs to go which ones are keepers and how to get rid of them if you don't want them in your portfolio without making stupid mistakes. That video is on the screen right now. The video is very straightforward. It's gonna teach you how to identify and how to remove these bad cancerous stocks from your portfolio in about 10 minutes. Go watch it right now. Thank me later. I'll see you next one. Peace.